What's up guys, how's it going? Today we're doing a brew review. Um, we've got a, a bean from a coffee roaster um, out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, this is Certain Feelings. Um, it's a Honduran bean. Um, the name of the farmer uh, is Nelson Ramirez. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this bean. Excited to try it out. Um, I've had coffee from this roaster a few times before, um, but yeah, uh, it's a washed processed uh, bean, so should should be pretty stellar. So let's uh, let's get into brewing. guys we got the coffee brewed we got the cup preheated i don't know if you can see the steam coming out of it but uh steaming a little bit there so let's see what the final weight is of the brew all right we're looking at 198 grams i'm gonna write this down real quick One ninety eight point seven grams. So we're gonna let this cool down for a little bit longer here. Um, but I will talk to you about the recipe a little bit. We're doing a forty sixty method. Um, so we're gonna start with fifteen grams, fifteen point six to be exact, grams of coffee, uh, medium coarse grind, um, and then we're using two hundred fifty grams of water and then water is at 200 degrees. So for our first pour, the bloom, it's gonna be 45 grams. Um, and then our next pour is gonna be 55 grams. Uh, so that gets 100 grams total for your first two pours. And then your next three pours are all gonna be the same. So 150, three pours, 50 gram pours. Um, it timed out at three minutes and 30 seconds on the dot, imagine that. First sip, here we go. Let's see what we're working with. All right, that's a good coffee. That is stellar. Um, certain feelings, you did a fantastic job uh, with the roasting. Kind of like a nuttiness too. Um, maybe, uh, but as it cools down more, more, uh, flavor should come out in it. So while this cools down, I just want to talk a little bit about what this channel or this video series is going to be. Um, every week I want to get a bag of coffee from a different roaster. Um, probably going to be mostly sticking to United States roasters, uh, just cause that's where I'm at. Um. But I really do like Nordic coffee. Um, so there might be a few of those in here, here and there. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I've got a passion for coffee. Um, I worked at a coffee shop for six and a half years um, when I lived in Indiana. And then I started working at a coffee shop when I moved down to St. Louis. Um, but I felt like I just needed something else in my life. so. Stopped, put a pause on working in coffee, but I am still brewing coffee. Um, and this is a way for me to do what I love and share it with people. Um, oh yeah, so there's there's some more fruit forward, uh, fruit coming out of it as it cools down, um, which that can be expected with light roasts. Um, coffees. Mm. <laughs> I am not going to be sleeping tonight. 
it's like eight o'clock. Why am I doing this so late? Let's bring this back in. So let's talk a little bit about this coffee, uh, the roaster, the farmer, uh, what it is, uh, talk about flavor notes. Uh, so starting out, it is from Certain Feelings. Uh, they're located in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, pretty cool roaster. Um, this is the second bag I've had from them. So everything I've had, I mean, the two coffees, they've been stellar, killer. Um, would definitely recommend them. Um, Nelson, Nelson Ramirez, that's the roaster, not the roaster. He's the grower. He's the farmer. He's the, he's the most important part. Uh, I feel like coffee farmers, they, they get the, the short end of the stick. Um, they, they are the people that create the coffee, you know, like me, I'm just brewing it. I'm just adding water and really like it's not me who's making the coffee what it is like the farmers that they are the most important part of coffee um so shout out to you nelson ramirez uh and your team uh you've done a great job at cultivating and growing this bean um this is the first coffee i've had from him that i know of um this is oh he's from honduras uh the region santa barbara um it's a uh, process is washed. Um, so yeah, flavor notes. Well, the bag says feels like, uh, but we know that means flavor notes um, are almond. So the nuttiness, um, red grape. I get that once, it's, once it cooled down a little bit. Definitely, definitely uh, tasting some of the grapiness in there. Um, and then stone fruit. Stone fruit, you know, I've got a, I got a bone to pick with stone fruit as a flavor note. You know, I, I feel like stone fruit is used so often in coffees as a flavor note. And it's like, where, where do you, why? I, I don't, I don't get stone fruit. I, I don't understand it. Um, but that's just me, personal opinion. Um, but yeah, back to back to this roaster. Um, so this bag is super dope um, because of the label. Um, what's really cool is you can take the label off and boom, it's a patch. Uh, I believe it's just an iron on, um, but I think all their bags, I mean, the bags that I've had from them have had patches. So that's super cool. Um, I've got two of these now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Uh, but we got patches. So yeah, that, uh, that wraps it up for this episode. Um, brew review, uh, with your boy, Silas Hunter. Uh, if you like this type of stuff, you want this content, you want to see more of it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, a like too. uh, I don't know. First video never done this. So like and comment and share uh yeah so take it easy i will see you next week